In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can save time and effort by using Aurora HDR's 2019 batch processing feature. Let's get started. Now, to begin a batch processing session, either access it from the open dialog box, or once the application is started, click on File, and then from here, Batch Processing. You could drag your files or your folders that have images in it right onto this screen here, or you can click the Browse button and search your computer. I'm going to select all the bracketed images, and I'll select Open. The HDR bracketing mode is on by default. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to automatically sort and group the exposed brackets and process them accordingly. If the single mode is selected, then all the images will be treated as independent files and processed separately. You can drag any photos that are not properly grouped and place them in a new group or create your own group. If an image should not be processed, you can click the X button to remove it from the batch window. If you want to remove a group of images from the batch window, just click the Delete Group button. Now, after the images you wish to process have been loaded and grouped, Press the Continue button, and this is going to reveal more options and settings for the batch processing. The batch processing feature is very versatile, and it contains a lot of options that can conveniently apply to a large set of images. Now, let's explore some of the default settings. We can apply an Aurora HDR look to all of our images. If we click on the drop-down menu, we can browse through the list and select an HDR look. The Save To option allows us to decide where we want to save our images. We can apply a naming convention, and then from here we can choose a proper format for our images and the quality. The batch processing also allows us to choose our color profile, and we can resize the images to a certain size. Now, clicking on the Advanced button will give us more options. From here, we can decide how we want to sharpen the image, if we need to auto-align or work on the ghost reduction. And from here, we can also select the chromatic aberration removal. Now, all of these here are set by default. And we'll click Done. Now, after selecting all of our desired batch processing options, we can click the Process button, and that's going to process all the images. We can also select the Save Settings. And what this is going to do for us it's going to save the settings we currently worked on. So this way, we'll be able to quickly apply them on the next time we need to batch process a set of images. Let's go ahead and batch process these images and see the results. Now we have the option of going back to Aurora, or we can open up the folder and view the images. As you can see, Aurora HDR 2019's batch processing is a powerful way to save time and effort when working with multiple images.